we are looking at how what type of gametes are made from each of these garden pea plants so this plant right here that has it's a true breeding garden pea for purple flowers its phenotype is purple flower its genotype is the alleles that it has in its um, genetic makeup so all of the alleles the ones that are expressed and the ones that aren't expressed so in this case right here since this plant is true breeding it has two alleles all all organisms have two alleles for each gene its two alleles are both dominant and I'll explain how we know that in a minute but let's say that they are they're both um, dominant so and we know through meiosis that those alleles get separated into gametes so first each chromosome one from mom and one from dad gets replicated and then those strands of DNA get placed into four gametes and in this case the alleles are all the dominant form of the allele so all purple flower dominant so all the gametes that this organism can have are all going to be big a dominant form purple color for this trait for plant number two which is true breeding white color the phenotype is white flower the genotype the two alleles that it has in its genetic makeup are both the recessive little a and that's represented by little a little a so that when we go to meiosis and the strands of DNA are placed into the gametes in this case they're all going to be little a so all the possible gametes are little a there we've got little a so we are going to do what's called a Punnett square And in a Punnett square is where you can cross, you, you can um, um, bring these gametes together in fertilization. Okay, so let's do that. Let's do, um, so we are going to do a Punnett square. And we are going to put the gametes from one individual and there's only one kind of gamete that we can get we're going to have four gametes remember but each one is going to be exactly the same and they're all going to have the same allele they're all going to have the dominant form of the allele so on one axis of our table are going to be the gametes all the possible gametes from parent number one and let's say this is mom and then on so that's on um, 
x-axis, on the y-axis, we are going to have all the gametes possible from parent number 2. And let's go ahead and say this is from dad. And the only types of gametes you're going to have are A. Remember, there's going to be four gametes, but all of them are going to be the same. And so in this box right here, you're going to cross them. So this box, Punnett square represents, uh, oops, that's an E, fur, fertilization. We are going to bring these two gametes together. We're going to get uh, the allele from mom, and we're going to get the allele from dad. So the genotype of this, this offspring, so this is now, whoops, I did that last time too, didn't I? Um, so this is now the offspring of the combination between the egg from mom and the sperm from dad into um, an individual that now has the genotype big A, little a. And because big A is dominant over the recessive little a, that the phenotype, so this is the genotype, The phenotype is pink, or excuse me, purple, purple flowers. And I, I like the example of flower color. I think it's the easiest to really visualize what's going on here. So we have a sequence of DNA that codes for a protein that makes a pigment. And so this allele right here, this A represents an allele that represents a stretch of DNA that codes for a protein that makes, makes a purple pigment. This little a right here represents a sequence of DNA, an allele that has a mutation. So it makes a protein, but that protein malfunctions. It doesn't make any pigment at all. But if you have both, so if you have big A, big A, you're going to make lots of pigment and your flower is going to be pur purple. If you've got big A, little a, this allele right here is going to make, still make lots of pigment. This allele making the protein, making the pigment, lots of pigment. And so your flower is still going to be purple. But if you get a if you get two of these alleles, these recessive alleles, little a and little a, then you have two alleles that both have a mutation and neither of them can make the appropriate protein to make the pigment. So you end up getting a white flower. Okay, so now what happens when you cross this organism right here, this plant right here that now has two alleles. One is dominant big A and one is recessive little a. So let's take a look at that. <clears throat> okay, so here's our original true breeding organism, our plants. They have come together and they have made, remember, 100% plants with all pink flower, or purple flower, because it looks pink, um, all purple flower. And that's because it has this dominant allele that makes enough protein, that makes enough pigment to make this flower purple.
Okay, so let's see what happens then. So remember in mitosis that these alleles are going to be separated in meiosis 1 and then in meiosis 2. So what gametes are you going to get uh, when, when this flower right here makes gametes? It's going to make one gamete with the big A, and here it is right here, and it's going to make one gamete with the little a. Actually, it's going to make four gametes. It's going to make two gametes with the big A and two gametes with the little a. But since they're exactly alike, it's, um, it's okay on this, uh, on this Punnett square to, to just put one big A and one little a. And since we're going to self-fertilize this flower, the father and the mother are both going to make the same type of gametes. So these are gametes. And these are gametes. And these are, all four of these are the offspring that this fertilization is going to happen. So if a fertilization between this gamete and this gamete will produce this offspring right here. So these are all offspring. And it's going to produce an offspring with pink I keep saying pink, purple flower, fertilization between this gamete and this gamete is also going to have a purple flower, fertilization between this gamete and this gamete is also going to have a purple flower because of the dominant, and a fertilization between this gamete and this gamete is going to have a white flower. So this is how Gregor Mendel this is why he came up with that ratio of three purple flowers to one white flower. But if you look, the genotypes aren't three to one. You have one genotype that is big A, big A, so um, two dominant alleles. You have two genotypes here that are big A, little a, and then you've got one genotype that's little a, little a. So big A, big A is called homozygote. That's homozygous dominant. Little a, little a is called homozygous recessive. And big A, little a is called a heterozygous. And that's because it has two different alleles. So homozygous, two same alleles. Heterozygous, two different alleles. Okay, so this is um, Mendelian genetics working with one characteristic. The next set of videos, we are going to look at Mendelian genetics, uh, looking at two characteristics at the same time. Okay, hope you found that interesting. Thank you.